Welcome back. Let's start with our first tool that we're going to use to perform our spoofing and man in the middle attack. Now, for this type of the attack, there are many tools out there that you can use to initiate this attack. Some of them are outdated, some of them are already pre installed in Cal Linux. However, we're going to cover one of the most known tools, which is called BetterCap. It is a little bit harder to use, however, we're just going to cover the basics of it. So let's open up our terminal and since this tool is not already installed in Cal Linux, we must install it first. And my advice would be for this entire section to run all the tools as a root account. Now you might be asking why? Well, we're going to perform a bunch of different networking things and some of the networking things could require root privileges. So some of the tools might not run, some of the settings might not work if we run it as a regular user inside of our Cal Linux. So let's real quick enter the root terminal. And to install our bettercap tool, we can simply type the command apt-get install and then bettercap. Press enter, press Y once it asks you do you want to continue. And now we're going to wait for the bettercap installation to finish and then we're going to enter its framework and perform MITM attack. Okay, it has finished. Now, there are two ways that we can run this attack. We can run it as a command by specifying a file that contains all of the better cap commands that we want to run, or we can run it inside of the framework. Now, for the first try, we are going to just type better cap to open the framework, and we're going to experiment with different commands in order to run this attack. And then after this, we're going to see how we can run it just from a terminal in a one line command. Okay, so once you type better cap inside of your terminal, it will open the better cap program, it will tell you which version it is, and it will also tell us to type help for a list of the commands. So let's type help to see what options do we have. And right here, we're going to see a bunch of available services that we can run with better cap. Most of these services are not going to run, as it says right here, not running. And the only one that you will see running is events.stream. Now, you might already start to notice something interesting for us, such as, for example, this ARP spoof. We talked about ARP spoof in the previous video, and we know that this is the base of our man in the middle attack. However, before we get to it, let's go a little bit up and check out the help menu. So, these are the commands that we can use with BetterCap. We can type help and then some module name in order to print out more information about that specific module. We can also active, quit, sleep for a certain amount of seconds. We can set value the same way that we do inside of our MSF console. If you remember, once we set values for certain payloads, we do that using this command. So we can assume that this is something similar as an MSF console, or at least it has similar options and commands. Now let's go down to these modules. And before we actually get to this ARP spoof module, let us take a look at this net probe module. If I simply just type help and then net.probe, this will give me the help menu and the description of this module. So as it says, it will keep probing for new hosts on the network by sending UDP packets to every possible IP on the subnet. In other words, what this module will do is it will discover all of the online hosts inside of our local area network. So what we can do is we can turn that on to start network host probing in background. Let's run this command as it tells us right here. Copy this, paste it right here and let's press enter. And we can already see that it managed to discover some of the hosts inside of my network. These are the active IP addresses right here. The next thing that we want to do is we want to type the help menu for the ARP dot spoof module. So we just type help arp dot spoof and press enter. And we also get the option as to how we can run this module. But down here we can see some additional options or as it says right here parameters for this module. We got arp dot spoof dot full duplex, we got arp dot spoof dot internal, arp dot spoof dot targets and arp dot spoof dot whitelist. In this specific scenario, we're interested in these two. So the full duplex and the targets. The full duplex, if we read the description, 
If this is set to true, both the targets and the gateway will be attacked, otherwise only the target. And as it says right here, if the router has ARP spoofing protections in place, this will make the attack fail. So in some networks and on some routers, this attack will not work because more and more routers nowadays are starting to implement the ARP spoofing protection. However, if it is not enabled, if the protection is not enabled, then we can perform this attack. So what we must do is we can type set ARP dot spoof dot full duplex to be equal to true or just set it to true. Press enter right here. And we also want to set the targets. Now you can specify the entire subnet or the entire network, or you can do it like I'm going to do. I'm just going to select one target. And the reason why I'm selecting one target is because once you run this on the entire network, there is a lot of information going inside your terminal. And it is going really fast, so you don't even get to read it. Therefore, what I'm going to do for the purposes of this tutorial is I'm going to select the IP address of my Windows 10 machine that we're going to perform the MITM attack on. And then I'm going to set arp.spoof.targets to be equal to that IP address, just like this. Once I do this, I want to start sniffing for the network connections. And we can do that if I go up here, we can see that there is a module called net.sniff. If I type help net.sniff, it will just say that this will sniff packets from the network. And the command that we use to start it is net.sniff. But before we actually start it, let's go and check out the parameters right here. The parameter that we want to use for this attack is net.sniff.local. As it says, if this is true, it will consider packets from to this computer, otherwise it will skip them. Now, once we start the ARP spoof attack, all of the packets from our target machine will go to this computer, therefore this will be able to sniff them. Let's copy this and paste it right here. And what we want to do is we want to set this to true. After we get all of these settings ready, we can type arp.spoof and we can set this on. And we can also type net.sniff on. Press enter and this will start sniffing packets on our Windows 10 machine. We can also see some of the queries that our Windows machine is making. And if I go and try to visit some web page, we can see that our target machine is querying Facebook. As we can see, the desktop machine initiated the request for www.facebook.com. And this will work for any other website. We can see the requests for twitter.com. And if they were to input a password to an unencrypted website, such as, for example, let's say that they want to connect to our router and go right here and they type, for example, test and test and click on login. If I scroll a little bit up, we should manage to find the request where they send the password. And here it is. Here is the request where they send the password. We get the username test and the password is a hashed value. However, we managed to get it nonetheless. It will work for any website that sends unencrypted data. For example, onto this website called volweb.com. If I go to first link, which is this one, and I click on login, type username admin and password test, I click on login. And for some reason, it seems that it didn't manage to get it. Let's just scroll a little bit up to see whether we can find it. And here it is. Here is the packet that we sent, including the username and the password. We managed to sniff it from our Windows 10 machine. Here is the username admin and the password test. Great. This is one way that you can use BetterCap. Another way that you can use BetterCap is if I exit out of this program, it will automatically start the ARP spoof and it will restore our cache for our one targets. And the way that we can run it with a command is we can just create a file called sniff.cap. And inside of this file, we can type the commands that we typed previously, which is net.probe on. We also want to select arp.spoof.fullduplex to true. 
in order to also spoof the target and the router. And we also want to select arp.spoof.targets to the IP address of our target machine. After that, we set the net.sniff.local to true, which means only sniff the packets that are coming from and to this machine. And then we type arp.spoof on and net.sniff on. These are all of the commands that we must run. So all we need to do is save this in a file called sniff.cap and then we can run the command bettercap-iface and iface stands for interface where we need to specify the interface of our machine. Since on Kali Linux, the only active interface that I have is ETH0. Once I specify that, all I need to specify is another option which is dash caplet and then the name of the file containing our commands. And this will do everything that we just did automatically. So if I press enter, it will set all of the settings that we did and it will start sniffing for different connections. For example, if I go right here and try to refresh Facebook, it will sniff that request to Facebook. And this is one way that we can perform man in the middle attack. In the next video, we're going to check out another tool that will allow us to perform this attack that you might actually find a little bit easier to use. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.